Okay, I'm with David Buterak, who's the CEO of OSN. David, I hear you just announced the rebranding of OSN. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, we've invested in the, the, the combination of um, uh, Orbit and Showtime together to create the Orbit Showtime network platform. We've invested heavily to brand and market to create a new experience of pay TV in the region. And OSN will become the premier brand for entertainment in the region. We believe it's a strong brand. We've got a new chief marketing officer on board, a new marketing team uh, behind it. And we're creating a, a new consumer experience out of the OSN brand. What's this with OSN Yahalla? OSN Yahalla is uh, a new channel launching on October the 10th. It's an uh, Arabic language entertainment channel. Uh, it's, a, it's a new step for OSN to create our own Arabic language content and indeed includes the first ever OSN original commission, Hindustani, uh, a sitcom that has been shot on location in India and Sharjah uh, and revolves around the life story of a, uh, a spice trader from Riyadh. It's a fantastic production uh, to go together with the, the channel which is showcasing a whole new range of uh, Arabic language entertainment comedy uh, and uh, and uh, entertainment products we're very pleased about it very excited it's the step for OSN into original productions and into uh, a whole new dawn of Arabic entertainment Right, and how many hours of production have you already invested in? You um, original, the, the total on the channel will be in excess of 300 hours of original content. Some of that is commissioned, some of that is acquired, and some of that is produced. Um, Hindustani is a 38-part, half-hour um, sitcom, which is now fully produced and will be airing um, on the first week of, of the channel. So in total, the channel will showcase over 300 hours of original new content per wow. hour. What about subtitles? Is that subtitles in English? Uh, they will be. Some of the programs will be subtitled in English. Okay. And indeed, um, because we own all the rights, digital rights and uh, distribution rights. We anticipate showcasing these products not just on our broadcast stream but on the digital media platform that we are creating which will launch either later this year or early next year. And indeed we, we will be seeking um, international distribution which there's already a great interest in, in the, the content. I hear you also have some new studios, or is that one new studio? Um, it's a repurposing. We've created a, a much larger production studio in our base uh, in the Dubai Media City, uh, and uh, its, original, its, its initial uh, on-air performance has been our production of the Rugby World Cup. Oh, we have okay. assembled a great team of uh, international pundits, uh, and uh, they're on a daily basis coming live and exclusive out of our studio in the, the Dubai Media City. So yes, we're, we're on-air now with a uh, much larger production studio. Excellent. And uh, what about the technical investment for your Arabic channel? Is there anything Our about? technical investment continues. As uh, many uh, of your uh, your viewers and readers are aware, we had a uh, an incident uh, a few months back where we had a fire in our broadcast facility. Uh, not something I would wish on anybody. Uh, and that has allowed us to uh, to reinvigorate some of the investment in our production facilities. Uh, the studio um, was a repurposing of uh, of existing studio space, but we continue to invest in and expand uh, not only our broadcast platform but indeed our digital media platform. Can we hope to hear anything more in the coming months? Oh, there will always be more to hear from <laughs> OSN. This is, uh, OSN is, uh, has reached a point in its life where it will now continue to expand. We're seeing the largest um, growth in our subscriber base ever. Uh, this year we'll add over 30% uh, to the subscriber base in one year alone. Well and done. as that business continues to grow, we will continue to reinvest in more facilities, more productions, more content and, and more distribution. Any plans to move into other markets or, you know, uh, cater to the Indian audience in, in the Middle East? Uh, Two questions there. Moving into other markets, no. Um, we have 24 nations that we broadcast and we secure rights to, um, and uh, we will concentrate on those markets as we still see significant growth opportunities there. In terms of catering to other sectors of the market in the Middle East, definitely part of our focus is in aggregating content that is relevant content to all of the local markets. We already have a very strong position with Philippine language content, oh, nice. and we certainly see the expansion into some of the other diaspora across the region. Excellent. Thank you, David, and I wish you all the best with the new rebranding. Thank you, my, my pleasure.